the 1-1. And Moran drives one deep to right. Clear the deck with a cannonball. Colin Moran, don't you know? Into the Allegheny River. Oh, is goodness. anybody hotter in the first four big league games than Captain Redbeard? 2-1 Pirates in the seventh. There may not be a better fastball hitter on this team than Colin Moran. <laughs> BB's up there, this fastball at 97, up around the letter, and he throws it into the river. Sheesh. And Juan drives one out to left center. See you later. He knew it, Inciarte knew it, and now we do too, his seventh of the year. Oh my goodness. I'll tell you what, Juan Soto doesn't watch him very often. He watched that one. I mean, he stared down Will Smith after he hit that. Oh, my. Those eyes spoke volumes on that one. Oh. This is driven in the air by Will Myers out to center field, and it is gone. Two-run home run for Myers, his second home run of the year, and the Padres take a 5-1 lead. We've heard of no doubters. That's a no doubter. Middle in, just above the kneecaps, and El Gallo lets it eat. That ball was laced out of the yard to center for Will Myers. Second Padres home run and a 5-1 lead for San Diego. Oh, my goodness gracious. That gives pitchers shivers. <laughs> Deep to left field. Stewart back, and that ball's gone in a hurry off the facing of the second deck, and it's 3-2. The 100th home run for Miguel Sano. Took a little time getting out of the batter's box. He had something to say. Might be igniting a rivalry right there between these two teams. Jimenez didn't like that much, but that ball almost knocked down the second deck. He's following Sano around the bases, but now if you don't like it, don't give up homer. And he drives one to deep right field. Down the line and out of the yard. A home run. Trent Grisham's first in a Padres uniform puts San Diego on top one to nothing. Welcome to San Diego, Trent Grisham. Oh, good. Get the first one out of the way. Make everything else go a little smoother now and just get back to competing. Who doesn't love a 3 1 count? A four seamer, middle in. Watch angle! No doubt. Next up, G Man Choi, electing to bat right handed for the first time in his five year career. In his first plate appearance, he struck out. I think G-Man Choi, what he's thinking too is, hey, listen, I understand how the Rays like to play the platoon matchups. So if I can make myself a switch hitter, maybe I'll never come off the field. You've got to appreciate Choi's perseverance. He gives it another go from the right side in his second at bat. Well, here is G-Man Choi batting right-handed and getting into this one, and that baby is out of here. G-Man Choi. Batting right-handed against the left-hander, K, and he belts the home run. But just like that, the Rays are on the board. <laughs> He's getting tired of this. Yeah, I mean, remember the last at bat. Able to get the fastball by K powered by him, and you say, well, how many more times is he going to go up there right-handed and give it a go? And guess what? He does it the next time, gets a pitch over the plate. Way different result. That ball was hammered. Enjoy. On it goes from first. Odor hits this ball hard. Deep out to right. Gone! Right off the head. A three-run homer for Odor, his ninth of the year. And now he has the Rangers in front. About six rows back in right. Rugi on an 0-2 pitch. Lights up Chase DeYoung, and he gives the Rangers a 4-3 lead. As he got a pitch that was belt high, maybe a little bit just above belt high, and absolutely drilled it out of here. Canna connects long and gone. Mark Canna muscles up for a solo shot. It's 3 0 Oakland. 425 feet. And the flip. He took a peek and he decided to give a little bit of that signature flip. Yep. He is a run producer. Elite right now from that standpoint. And the right handed Drew Smith deals. Swung on and hit high in the air to deep left center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. It's a grand slam. Oh, the San Chino. He hits a grand slam to left center. Oh, that Gary is scary. 
his biggest hit of the year. A grand slam in the eighth inning and the Yankees take a 5-1 lead. That one is driven deep to left field. Did he get enough? Yes, he did. He got enough. His 18th home run of the year, and he still leads Major League Baseball. That was a bullet, and it got out in a hurry. I'll tell you one thing, he can hit. Luke Voigt has done it day after day. Cool hand Luke. Oh, that Voigt is a droid. People can stop asking if he's a fluke, right? Yeah. No fluke Luke. <laughs> to left and that baby is out of here. Home run by Renfro. Boy, can he get a hold of a pitch. He got a hold of that one. A no doubt shot. Renfro struck a pose after he hit it. There it is, almost center cut. Maybe a little bit on that inner third. Posed up just for a brief second. The ball comes off his bat with a different sound. Something like that. A Tim Anderson with his home run power. It's big news in the Anderson household every time he hits a home run because they have a ritual at the Anderson household when he hits a home run. It's spaghetti night for dinner. He gets a big plate of spaghetti. So he loves the home runs. Tim in the air, left field. It's time for a pasta party. Cook it up, throw in some meatballs. One nothing socks. Tim Anderson leading off the game with a home run. Kind of sounds old hat these days, doesn't it? It is becoming the norm for Tim Anderson. All of a sudden, he is Captain Solo. Pasta party in my house. Everybody <laughs> invited. Come on, baby. <laughs> what what kind do you like? What how, how do you do it? I just meet bosses. Yeah, I keep it simple. Okay. Yeah. Just a simple. Not too. Man. Yeah, not too much. Not too much. Keep it simple. Two strike count and the infield shifts to the right side for Muncie. Here's the 3 2. Swing and a drive. He got all of it. Oh, baby! Woo -hoo! And he knew it off the bat. Santa Maria. Max Muncie has left the yard in a very big way. Got it all, left nothing behind. And can he turn on a fastball? When you connect on 100 miles an hour, uh, it's there's probably not, probably not a better feeling out there than that. Uh, you know, I, that's one of those things where I didn't actually feel it hit the bat. Uh, and it was just, I was bumped up. And he hammers that one. Stanton will watch it fly way out of here. Oh, oh my goodness. Giancarlo Stanton with a mammoth home run. And the Yankees are right back in it. It's a one-run game. Three-run home run for Stanton. I've seen a lot of games in the booth. And on a bench. Never seen a ball hit like that ever. 118 miles an hour off the bat. That is off the charts. There aren't many human beings on the face of the earth that can hit a baseball that hard. 458 foot home run for Giancarlo Stanton. 3 2 to Trev. And that ball's crushed to left, and I'm glad he hung around. That is Trevor's seventh of the year, and it's two to one. That was up close to the train tracks. Good thing it didn't hit the train, because it would have knocked it off the tracks. This thing was blitzed. Yeah, slider, Trevor knew it, just a little bat toss. And Will Smith will face Will Smith. First time two players with the same name have faced each other in the postseason. Let's say it never happens again. He's thrown up. There they go. And a high fly ball to left. Back at the wall. It is gone. Will Smith. The biggest swing of his young career. Will Smith off Will Smith. And just like that, the Dodgers have taken the lead. He absolutely clobbered it. 4-2 LA. And Will Smith. Rounds third and he is fired up. Smith, the guy who's really developed into quite a powerful hitter. That's hit in the air to deep left field and forget that. That ball is out of here. Ahmed Rosario, who needs a walk? He cranks one into the seats in left field for his second home run of the year. A rude greeting for Nick Vincent and the Mets now have a little breathing room. It's four to two. He got all of that 434 feet and a bat flip to boot a lot of frustration 
ended with that bat flip. That was a Bautista esque bat flip. Yeah, if he got the barrel out. Didi Gregorius now. Swings at the first pitch and drills it to deep right field. Conforto back, he'll have no play. It's long gone goodbye off the advertising sign above the first deck. Didi Gregorius jumping all over that pitch for Porcello has his eighth home run of the year. And the Phillies increase their lead. It's 4-1 Philadelphia. Look at this pitch, just a sinker that didn't get away. Stayed in the middle and Didi jumped all over. Mincher home with a 1-2. And oh. Aguilar hits this one to left center field. It is out of there! A home run for Jesus Aguilar. And the Marlins extend their lead. It's now 4-0. My goodness. 436 feet, an absolute no-doubter. The big guy comes through in big moments again. A big home run here in Atlanta in a must-win for the Marlins. I mean, this is an impressive, impressive shot. Drills one to left field and tosses the bat aside. My goodness, where will it land? Way up and out of here. A titanic home run from the rookie, Luis Robert. The White Sox have a 1-0 lead. 487 feet. Chucks his bat over to the White Sox side with an exclamation point. Tatis drives one to deep left field. He drives one to the moon. High, deep, and very gone. Fernando Tatis Jr. with a two-run shot as the Padres on the board. Wow. That's mucho cuidado right there. Think he knew he got it? Oh. oh. He's really good at baseball. It wasn't just a bat flip. No. <laughs> it went well beyond that. It was just a bat flip and the look frozen on his face, staring as in, hey, you like that. Swing and a high fly ball. That's Wallop deep left. Ronald Acuna Jr. Bat flip. It bombs away. One nothing on leadoff home run. That ball was loud. That was smoked. Ronald Acuna Jr.'s 19th career leadoff homer. Oh, baby. He got all of that one. If he'd hit it more line drive style, he might have hit it all the way over the bleachers out there in left center. It was hit too high for us to get the data from StatCast. My oh, goodness. That's how high up he hit it. I is rather deliberate as he takes his time getting the sign. Outfield straight up for Kiermaier. Swing and a drive to right field and deep. Back to the wall and when this one lands, we are tied! Kevin Kiermaier with his second homer of the World Series. His third home run this postseason. It's six to six here in the seventh. How about this game? Kiermaier had no chance. He wasn't close to hitting anything. And then he hits a home run to tie it at 6 6 back and forth all night long. Man. The number nine hitter comes through with a game tying a homer. 6 5 Cardinals. Here is Manny Machado against Gallegos for the Padre third baseman. What a second year he had. 3 2 pitch. High fly ball. Deep left field. Car rush. Tie ball game, Manuel. Tie ball game, son. Here come them boys. They're not going away yet. They want to play tomorrow. The ball game is tied. Se va, se va. Y a la forma que los padres lo han hecho todo el año. En el back to back. Padrino en cano. Tapis. Machado. Machado. Va, va, va. Vuelven los padres. Despiertan en la sexta. Juego nuevo. Empatamos a seis. Driven deep and it's gonna go. Contreras wins the battle. Man, was that the swings throughout that sequence were really impressive. Talk about a guy feeling it, seeing the ball well. Here's Gary Sanchez and he has a runner with second. Driven deep to left center field. There it goes. Oh, what a shot by Gary Sanchez, a two-run home run. 5-1, Yankees. 
That ball's still moving. That thing's got a flat spot on it. Well, we got the bloop, and there was the blast. 109.7 miles an hour off the bat. And when it hits, that's 457 feet away. Wow. Two and two on story. High drive, deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Trevor Story, home run number four of the season. 88 mile an hour slider. <laughs> oh, I like it. <laughs> I like it too. Because he just missed the 95 fastball on the previous pitch. He hits the long ball with anybody in the sport. What does he not do exceptionally well? So there you see the runners bases loaded for the A's as Piscotti steps in against former A Jesse Chavez infield in again outfield in first pitch is hit in the air to center should be plenty deep Heineman going back he's still going back and that baby's gone Piscotti with a grand slam walk off and the A's have done it again no waiting around for Steven Piscotti it's dinner time heater down arms down Extension, pose them up, Piscotti. Pack your bags, fans. All aboard. Next stop, Pound Town. Pinch hitter here, Kike Hernandez for Jock Peterson and other guys. That's a big postseason moment. Seven career postseason homers. Another 2 2. Hernandez hits one in the air, left center field. This game is tied. On the eighth pitch, his eighth career postseason home run, and it's 3-3 in the sixth inning of Game 7. Kike with an incredible at bat, saw a lot of pitches, and he smoked this baseball. And that ball's hit high and deep. Shiman Choi will watch it fly. This game is tied at three. An absolute blast by G-Man Choi. A no-doubter into right field. His second home run of the postseason. And the Rays have squared it at three apiece. 447 feet. Listen in. The sound and the launch left about 109 miles an hour. Bat flip. Nice. That's worthy of a bat flip. What <laughs> a bomb. Ron Mill Reyes steps to the plate with two aboard, nobody out. In the air, center field and deep. Reynolds back, he's out of room, it's out of here, and the Indians come roaring right back. It's a one run game. Oh, Ron Mill Reyes, did he ever need one of those? His ninth home run of the year. And RBI is 31, 32, and 33. And look at the big man fired up as he rounds the bases. And with one big blast, he's put him right back in the thick of it. Just a spinner, but you have to hit it, and Reyes did. He hit it to center field, right center, and he knew it. A lot of frustration coming out for Fran Mill Reyes, and he took it out on that baseball. And the 3-2 is swung on and hit in the air to deep left center. It is high. It is far. It is gone. It's a grand slam. Gio Urshela, the most happy fella. He grand slams deep in the left center field seats. And the Yankees take a 5-4 lead. Manny Machado with a leadoff home run. His second of the postseason, and it's 4-2 here in the sixth. And he knew it. As soon as he hit it, he got a slider in an area that, as soon as he hit the ball, took his time to throw the bat, try to fire up his club, right? This is a team that feeds off of this kind of emotion. And look at that. So much for a bat flip. How about a bat throw? Ronald Acuna Jr. would lead things off. Acuna squares one up and sends one to deep right center field. Back and well gone. Another leadoff home run for Ronald Acuna Jr. And an explosive Atlanta start here in game one. That's the second deck in right field. His power to right center is a joke. It's like a left-handed hitter. And there's a perfect example. 428 feet on that shot from Acuna Jr. 
Muncy. Hits one a ton. That is gone. This is an eight to six ball game. Muncy touches one off here in the ninth. Yeah, he threw it in the spot. He doesn't miss. That's really what Max Muncy's all about. Inner third of the plate. 111 miles an hour rattled off the seats when he was three feet out of the batter's box. He got all of that one. With a bat flip to boot. Tanaka with that leg whip in the first pitch to a Rosarena. Lifted to deep for field. Back in a Gardner. Forget about it. Another home run by Randy Arozarena. It's 5-1, to Tampa Bay. That was a no-doubter. Maybe not quite Stanton-like, but it went a long way. And the Rays are up a slam here in the fifth. And the Arozarena is red hot. All of these crosstown matchups run well for Contreras. One and one, cease fires. It wasn't intentional. That's deep, and it is gone. A three-run homer. We told you Willie loves hitting against the White Sox. He gave it a tip. Well, Anderson worthy bat flip right there, too. That's the ball flying out. The bat was, uh, well, sizable, majestic. <laughs> the bat's higher than the ball. Get it. Oh. <laughs> I have a feeling that bat toss will uh, find its way in some of the Cubs White Sox all time. Highlights. Base is empty, two out, and a 3 3 game. It's Bellinger, great regular season player, but has struggled in the postseason throughout his career. Eighth pitch has been the magic one tonight. This time he hits the ball to deep right field. Cody Bellinger has done it, and the Dodgers lead in game seven. Credit Cody Bellinger for not missing the pitch he had to get, putting his team ahead. Wow. And Martin had tried to stay away from the power of Cody Bellinger. He kept missing away, and then he threw a fastball right down the middle. You make a mistake, Bellinger loses it into the stands. I had the same approach as I had yesterday. Uh, I faced him in the eighth or ninth inning, and I felt, you know, I felt comfortable against him. And uh, I just tried to have my same approach. He threw me some good pitches. I uh, just tried to foul some of those up that I didn't see too well, and I saw one that I could drive. And uh, I just tried to put a good swing on it. I knew it right away. It was one of those where you just know it felt pretty good. And here is Carlos Correa. If Carlos Correa hits one out of here, you may see the it might hit us up the here. world's longest bat flip. One ball, one strike. In the air, center field. Correa's watching. This is back, and it's gone. It's a walk-off home run. Carlos Correa. Astros win! Carlos Correa has just forced a game six in this ALCS. What a moment. Carlos Correa has his walk-off moment here in game five. Wow. Stood there, majestic, clout to center field, watched it, and flipped it. Did you know it right off the bat? Oh yeah, I knew it off the bat. You know, the ball is carrying well today during daytime. So as soon as I hit it, I knew it was going. Here's Tatis again. And here's a guy that's worth staying up late for. Salva, se va, se va! Se fue! De noche, la de esta noche! He's done it again. Another home run, and the Padres add to their advantage. An opposite field shot that he knew from the get-go and a bat flip amidst the flashing lights. Oh boy, oh boy.